Welcome back to my channel everyone. So today I'm going to do a nail room tour. I completely rearranged my room over the weekend. I received an Alex store from Ikea, a bigger one. So I moved a lot of my nail art products and whatnot into that and I took all of my other drawers apart and I reorganized those. So I really wanted to share that with you. So I'll do a whole tour of my room and then I'll go into my drawers and I'll show you what I've got and how I organized it and hopefully it'll be helpful for giving you guys ideas when you go to organize your room. So I hope you enjoy watching this and check it out. Okay, to get started, I'm just kind of showing you the view when you walk into my nail room. It really isn't a really large room, but it's perfect for doing nails and for doing lash extensions. I have just enough room. This room is out of my home. So I'm just gonna go over here to start with my lash corner now i'm not going to show you everything over here because i'm sure you guys are just interested in what i have in my desk and my new alex unit and just how i've stored everything but this is my lash bed and of course it is pushed up in the corner so when i do lash extensions i pull it out and of course it all comes up and then i add a memory foam and sheets but i am a certified lash tech as well so over here is my storage of my cart for lashes. Now, if you do want to see what I have on my cart, let me know and I can do a quick video showing you everything. I do have it covered because of the nail dust and this is just a good way of keeping everything sanitary. Now coming over here is my stool for doing lashes. Now this is one of my purchases off of Amazon. It's so comfortable. It goes up and down. And if you're looking for a really good stool, I don't get sore at all on this stool, so a really good purchase. And then I have an ear purifier here. Now this is more for dust than anything. I find that it doesn't take acrylic smells away, but it does help, you know, clean the room of dust, which is nice. Of course, I just have a little air freshener type thing you plug in. It's actually quite cute. I will show you here. And there it is. And of course, my little bed for my dog Ziggy. He's a little Yorkshire Terrier and he likes to sleep in here when I'm doing nails sometimes. So that's his bed. Now coming up here, I have one of my nail polish racks from Amazon. And of course, all of the links I can put down in the description. If I forget anything and you need a link for it, just let me know. I don't mind sticking them down there. And just some art on the wall. Now coming over this way, is the door to enter my room and of course I have my nail apron and it does say nails on it. I probably showed you guys a while ago they were from AliExpress. It's a little stained, it gets used a lot. Whoops. I think I will bring out a new one soon but I do get a lot of gel polish when I'm doing nails on it so that's why I wear it and there's my little hook from Home since I think I got that a couple of years ago. They can put their coats, clients, or hang uh, purses, anything like that on there. Now coming over here, I do have a closet for storage. And this closet works so well. I'm so glad it's in here. I'll just open it up and share everything with you. Okay, so we'll go up to the top first. So of course I have a lot of products for sanitizing and disinfecting. So my preempt, my CS20, my nail prep, my isopropyl alcohol, some more monomer, some more preempt wipes, some new lotions. That kind of stuff is over there. Some gloves up there that haven't been opened. Just some, just some things for my room or some things that I might use. And now coming down, first of all, you'll see my light, my ring light for doing lashes. And now I do keep it in here to keep it kind of out of the way, but it works good. You can squish it kind of in there. So in this corner over here, I do have a lot of props for doing videos. These are my bigger ones that don't fit in a desk, so that's kind of where I like to store them. Now going over here, I don't think I will go through all of these, or maybe I'll quickly open the drawers just to show you guys. Um, but up top here, I have my airbrush machine for doing nails. I did a lot of press on nails over COVID and I still do some. So here's all my items for doing that and for packaging. There's a lot of my full nail tips in those containers. 
and I gotta add some more but those are fully pressed on now so I have quite a few now I will move my light out of the way a bit so I can just open these drawers quickly I'm not gonna go through these ones as much as my nail desk in that but I'll just kind of quickly show you so I have some masks for my lash clients and that's if they're really hard on their lashes when they're sleeping you can't sleep on them then I recommend buying these because they protect your lashes when you're sleeping now in here some more nail supplies some mask filters just kind of a mixture of some little UV lights I've got quite a few of those we put our adhesive for lashes in these and these are more lash supplies. I have pads and wipes and brushes and just a mixture of stuff. Some more tweezers are in here. Tape. That's just my lash drawer, more or less. Some more lashes down here. Extra ones. And then in the very bottom, I have some nail supplies, some extra top coats, base coats, colors, poly gels, just a mixture. And then I'm going to move this out of the way and we'll come over here. There's my special edition advent calendar from Madame Glam. I have some more props for doing videos in here. That's pretty much what these drawers are. Just some more props. Again, more props. And then coming over here, you can't really see it's a little darker, but there's some more lash supplies. Some of my aprons and towels for doing nails. Again, some more aprons, and in this is just a practice mannequin head for lashes. So moving back, this is pretty much everything in my closet. I'm glad it's in here. Now moving on to over here, of course you guys know I have these acrylic bottle storage shelves, and I just love these, like they hold so much. And I'll have that link from Amazon, like I said, below. And going up there, you'll see my Fixe Beauty certification for lashes. I took a volume course and then certified in nails about 10 years or just over 10 years ago. So that's where I keep those. Now moving over here, this is my new Alex drawer. It's a bigger one. I'll go through that with you guys. And of course, my nail desk, which I had custom made, the top that is from a cabinet maker, just so it was the right size for what I needed. And I'll go through everything on top and in my drawers quickly for you guys so you can see how I've stored everything. So starting here, of course, my nail lights or UV LED lights are a combination light. I have two, the Sun 5, and this one's called the Nature Plus 5. My Sun 5, my other one just went, so I bought, brought out another one. Um, this is the pad that I made. I did a video on that. I, the card's in the top right-hand corner, how to make one of these, really simple. Of course, there's my chair for my clients, just a really comfortable salon chair. And one of my favorite things I just got from Amazon was this magnifying light. This light is just perfect for doing nails. It's bright enough, and if I have some really detailed art, I can always bring that magnifying light, which is right here, up to the nails. I love this light. I will put that link down in the description as well. And of course, over here is my swatch stick holder. The card in the top right-hand corner, my husband making these are kind of neat to see them being made. He, I actually use these for a craft sale show with hanging jewelry, but it works for these perfectly. And then coming over here, this is from HomeSense, just a little storage container that spins and it's got like base coats, top coats, my nail prep, the nail glue, just things you use all the time. And right here's my monomer dish that is, and this I keep my clear acrylic in because it's used the most. And another Amazon find, I found a white one and it holds my Young Nails protein bond so it doesn't tip over. It's perfect for that. And then coming over here is, this was from the dollar store. It's a nice little acrylic holder. And I do have some in my Amazon storefront of some nice acrylic holders for brushes and that type of stuff. And this holds my isopropyl alcohol 
course, a nice brush. And then, of course, my Melody Susie e-file. I use this all the time. Of course, there's my isopropyl alcohol. And coming over here, this is my folder for videoing with my camera. Another storage type container from HomeSense, my lotions, acetones, and then of course my favorite product, LCN Super Shine Finish Cleanser. I use this all the time for my clients. And here's a nice little bit cleaner storage type container. I have my CS20 that they soak for 20 minutes. It works really good. Now you're probably wondering what this is for, but when I'm done with acrylic, I like to get the smell out of the room right away. So this is airtight. So I put the napkins that I used in here as soon as we're done. And here is uh, just a little container for sanitizing implements and things like that. So I put them in and then when I'm done with my day, they get cleaned up. If you guys would like a video of how I clean those items just let me know and I'll do one for you so going into my nail desk now I'll start over here so the first drawer so this one I use all of my main products like my builder gels from fusion base coats um, Amore products are my favorite gels a lot of brushes ones that I use the most some brushes for like wiping away extra loose glitter that type of stuff just some bits just kind of a miscellaneous type drawer and some more and some more amore products and infusion back there so the next one this one is really a miscellaneous drawer because i just have a mixture of um, for my e-file, I have little palettes, a bunch of different ones for crystals, for doing videos. I also have some more bits, some cuticle nippers, scissors, measuring tape, tweezers, extra ones, just a mixture of stuff in this drawer. And my favorite forms, and these I got off Amazon. I'll put that link below too. These ones I don't care for quite as much that are, they're a little longer. So yeah, that's what's in that one. Coming down to the next drawer, I keep my Red Iguana practice hand in this and some tabs for attaching the tips with onto her hands and my files that get used every time. From Amazon as well as these these are from Amazon as well some more files a bunch of different ones in here and some more back here as well kind of goes way back so that's that drawer and then the next drawer I see some stuff that's knocked over I was in here yesterday doing acrylic so there's my main acrylics, my core powders, colors, the swatch sticks to show all of them. And down here, this is some swatch sticks, different shapes I have for doing videos and for working on press on nails, your little tabs for your gel polish bottles practice hand holder, some nail props, some different ones. A bunch of different ones in here. And I have a mat, a beauty big bang mat for doing stamping in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the other side now. On my top one, I just have my little power outlet for my cords and whatnot. All of my Sharpie markers, some Sharpie inks, some extra little lights for doing videos, nails. And this one is all of my transfer foils. I have lots of nail stickers. I showed you this video with these. I can put that link 
or the card up in the top right hand corner you can see what i have in there just a bunch of foils and some water decals just books with those easy for my clients to look through And this one is just my mask. Of course, we gotta wear those. And some masks with some filters. These are my cleaning rigs. This one's just kind of like extra stuff like tape and my glasses, some cards for appointments, just pens, my file and buffer that I use on myself. It's the only one I keep, otherwise everything gets thrown away now. And these are just extra supplies again. You can see I have some more Amori, some top coats and base coats, some poly gels, and just a mixture. Oh, and some 3D gels back there. Oh, and I should show you this because this is really good stuff. My McCart foil gel, another purchase off of Amazon. It's a really good foil gel if you guys are looking for one. And we'll go over here now. So that's my desk. And of course we have on here is my vent. That's Valentino vent. Um, it's not the best vent I've ever used. I did do a review on, I think it was a, a McCart vent. And it was really good. Now if I had known, I would never have put this in because this was very pricey. And I don't find it's the best vent I've ever had. So that's on the middle of my desk, of course. Of course, my chair, and I do, it's not looking the nicest, but for comfort, I add some memory foam and that whatnot because I do have a bad hip. Now, coming over here, of course, is my iPad for showing photos and music. I have a Mia Secret acrylic here, monomer, brush cleaner, just some extras for stamping, some ugly duckling monomer. And this is my preempt in this bottle for spraying every time someone leaves. Now coming into here, we've got foils, more foils that is, um, tape and some flakes, just a mixture in there. This is some extra rhinestones. These aren't my Swarovski ones, but just different products that can be adhered to the nail. Just cute little ones. So this Rubbermaid container, I do want to get rid of uh, in the next little bit and buy another Alex drawer. But until then, I will use this one. And this is all my powders. Adam Glam, Beauty Big Bang, Born Pretty. Just a mixture of powders for the nails. Now down in this one, whoops. What happens in these? They get overfilled. So this one is just mainly. If I can get it open here. It's just all extra brushes that have never been used. Just have a mixture, as you can see in here. Um, extra brushes that have never been used. Eventually, I'll use them. But right now, they're in there stored for until I'm needing them. Now this one is all of my tips that I use all the time on clients. So my tip cutters. And this one is just my gloves, some bags, some cotton balls, just kind of a mixture. Foils, some clamps for removing products. Just a mixture of things in there. And this one is just some more storage, just some extra products that if I need, I know where to find them, little containers. Well, coming over to my new Alex drawer, on the top I have to display my Live Laugh Love. This was a collaboration I did with Madame Glam uh, for a limited edition box from them. And these were the inserts people received. It was a little information about me and the colors I picked. It was such a neat idea. So I had to display that. Of course, just a plant and a UV light for sterilizing. I use this more for uh, my tweezers and that for lashes. 
And just over here is my basket. Of course, I have a garbage there too, but for putting my dirty towels that have to be washed. Now this was really a nice unit to buy. I'm glad I got it. It just stores a lot. So up here I have my glitter gels. These are all light elegance. Some other glitter gels. Uh, just a mixture of ones that I've had given to me to review or ones that I've purchased. So the next one is more of my hard gel, color gels. Again, a mixture of light elegance, uh, Prisma, Model 1s, just a mixture, like I said. It fits a whole lot of them, so that's always nice. And here's all my Swarovski crystals. I just have a whole bunch of different colors and I'm all set in there. And Crystal Katana, of course. My Ugly Duckling Stick It. My Daily Charm Gel for adhering a crystal is really nice. Products with some more crystals. Just a mixture of different ones in here. Well, down in the next one is all my loose glitters. I'm so glad that I organized these better. Of course, there's a bunch of colors. I've got them more color coordinated. You would have seen that in the other video I showed. Some back here as well. This is working really well. And then I have other glitters. Some um, Daily Charm. Uh, just a bunch of their powders and pretty glitters. A lot of different ones back here. Micro beads, just a mixture of those. So this is just my prop drawer. So I have for taking photos and videos. A whole bunch of different ones in here. These are dollar store finds, just nice books, really cheap, like I think $4, and I got three different ones. Just a lot of different patterns to use for videos and pictures. And in the last drawer, this is my stamping drawer. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff, a lot of stamping polishes here and here, and my stampers that are my favorites. My books with all my stamps. There's big books under here as well. My round ones. Just a whole bunch of different stamping stuff. This works so well for storing all of this. Well, I think that's everything. I hope I didn't miss anything. So any links you guys want, just let me know. I will put them down in the description if I forgot something. So many things to show you. I hope you enjoyed seeing my storage i reorganized most of my room so i'm really happy with it if you guys wouldn't mind liking and subscribing that would be great and i will see you guys all next time bye